going to pretend to know because I have a CPA that does all of my taxes and all he says is just come drop your stuff off and I'll make the magic happen. So <laughs> I'm going to let Jeanette speak to the, the topic of tax breaks for beauty professionals. What is appropriate to write off? What can you write off as a tax or as a beauty professional? All right. Well, what got me there was when I was a, a beginner stylist. I, I like numbers. I learned the school I went to taught us how to file taxes for ourselves as cosmetologists. So I was I was lucky. That was long time ago. Okay. So I, I, that was my side job in building my client base. So that's where how I got to this point. So again, lining yourself up with the proper team around you, the banker, the accountant, to properly guide you and instead of just taking your money to um, file your taxes. So definitely you are your brand. You first of all you have to have a BBA. You have to have a DBA. Now, let's just differentiate because I have a DBA. But what is the difference between a DBA having an LLC and incorporating your business? And maybe you can speak briefly because I know it's a lot of information, but there is definitely a difference. Right. Doing business as. You know, you're, you're, you are you. So therefore, when you file your taxes, you're sole proprietor. You don't get as many taxes as your LLC. Your LLC is you and your brand. You are exempt from your brand, so therefore the money, they cannot sue you, okay, with the LLC. Okay, Yes, LLC, they cannot <laughs> sue you. Corporation. Exactly. Corporation. Well, the corporation, you know, basically that one, you're, it sets you in a higher tax bracket, so be careful about that. But the S corporation is the one that they have uh, manipulated and organized for business owners, as we are. So you want to go for the S corporation, then the corporation, because the corporation, you know, you have employees, or they're expected to have employees. So it doesn't really work for you if you don't have employees. So you want sole proprietor, but you want your DBA as a sole proprietor. And what you do is just like right now today, you know, I, I handed a sheet of paper was a workshop that you'll do, but you document everything, and and, and it's, it's sometimes hard. But if you take pictures, it'll help you remember what you've done. You know, so therefore, um, you know, so today is a tax write-off for me twofold because I could possibly in the small.